Hi, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can use OneNote to give your students some great feedback. One way is when you click on the Insert tab and you've got the Class Notebook tool installed, there are these cute little stickers that have become a new option. You'll click on it, it'll take it just a moment to download, and then you can go through the various choices and pick what you want. Once you find the sticker you want, you click on it, click Submit, and then it will load to the student's document. Now sometimes what I've found is it goes behind the student's document so you might have to just kind of move it around that kind of thing. And there's the sticker. Okay, so I had to move the text around a little bit and I was able to find the sticker for the student. Another way is just simply writing them notes on their work. So this student, in their constructed response, wrote a great background intro. So I want to let them know that, how great it was. Okay. Now, if you would rather record the information to give to the students, you can do that as well. Because there's a lot of details that I need to talk to them about in this other paragraph down here. So the way that you can do the record feature is again go to insert, say record audio, and then you can see down here there's this little tool, this little icon that comes up right here, and that means that I'm recording audio right now to share with them. And so I want to let them know that they had, you know, you had great background information, but your information on the Salzburgers was a little bit confusing. I'm not quite sure where you got the information that, that they had to give up their children, and you also left out how they became great producers of silk during the colonial period. You also didn't talk about how the Highland Scots helped defeat the Spanish. So after I've given them that information, I click over here where it says recording, and if I want to pause and read some more and then give them some additional details, I can do that. Or I can just click stop. If I think I've mess, messed up what I told them, all I have to do is simply click on the little icon that says constructed response audio recording and click, select, make sure it's selected, and click delete and it's gone. And then I can re-record. It's as easy as that. And if I mess up the writing that I do on there, all I have to do is select it and click delete. And it will delete all of that as long as I don't have the text also selected. Now, if it's not a constructed response and you have some information, If it's not a constructed response and you have some information you want to share with your students, what you're going to say it's a math document. Like this student, there were some errors in their computation. So I would want to say, tell them where the errors in their computation were. So this should be a 2. So they could know where they missed in their computation. So those are just some good tools that you can use to give your students feedback in OneNote. I think the audio recording tool will be a great tool for foreign language teachers because when students, they can record for you and then you can record back from, for them so they can hear correct pronunciations and all of that kind of stuff that you can do with foreign language. So if you have any questions, feel free to email Amber Manganelli, Manganelli A, and I'll be sure to help you out any way that I can.